All right, making another video again, addressing the nonsense uh, that occurred earlier again with this viewer, Kevin Stone, uh, who decided to show himself, I, and I doubt that's his real name, of course. Uh, he basically intimidated me. He intimidated me. It's all intimidation, so I don't speak up about what's going on. All right. He has it all wrong, but if he wants to fool you and intimidate you, I have broken no laws, all right? First of all, you have no expectation of privacy on a public street. I'm tired of this intimidation toward photographers. It's absolutely ridiculous. There is no expectation of a privacy on a public street. Make that clear. I wasn't following anyone. You see the videos? I'm just walking around. I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing those Rockville Center videos and those videos in the towns. Yeah, I want to show you how well they have it down there. I want to show you how lively it is and how dead it is here and all that other stuff. But it's like I'm beating a dead horse already. You know, it's hard to keep fighting this, um, to stay on Long Island, because this is what it's all about, driving us out. It's all about the plan to drive us out. I love how he refers to Mineola as a wealthy community. Uh, I don't think so, man. It's not a wealthy community at all, all right? Sure, things could be worse. You know, I'm grateful for the help I get. I'm grateful for the roof over my head. I'm grateful for the programs that are able to help me. But that doesn't mean that we should have to deal with substandard conditions. That doesn't mean that we should be treated differently than anyone else. All right? And then this crap about, well, you know, you know you're not disabled. You can work. I, I, I'm tired of this, man. Uh, are you a doctor? Because so many doctors have diagnosed me as not being able to work. Very interesting, huh? So many neurologists, so many doctors, so many psychiatrists I've been seeing since I was born and dealing with this mental illness. All right, so many, so many. And people will also say, don't respond to it. Oh, I have to respond to it. Because I can't just bottle up my emotions inside when somebody comes in front of your YouTube and, and slanders me again out in the open and then threatens for me to be arrested. If police bother me, the police department will get sued because that's harassment. You are harassing me. You are a bully. You're the bully. You're the one with the problem. All right? I'm just trying to speak my mind about everything. Not every single video I do is a complaint. It's about 50-50, maybe not even. All right? But look at what we're going through here. All right? With this, this railroad shutdown again. And no shuttle buses. And nice bus breaking down. I have another breakdown for you that's going to be up tonight as well. Uh, a, a, a bus was... A, a, the, the conditions that we deal with at nice bus are absolutely despicable. All right? And yeah, I'm not going, you say, you, cut it, you, you know, I can't keep fighting this plan. I know I can't emotionally handle it anymore. And, you know, I'm not going to just talk, you know, there's no sense beating a dead horse over it. But when it comes to the Pine Barrens and particularly Nice Bus and the MTA, when it comes to public transportation, that's something I'm going to keep talking about, whether they like it or not. All right. Yeah, they're destroying our towns. And, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Leslie said, well, you got to move to the South Shore. I know. I'm going to, if I can't move to the South Shore, I'm leaving. That's it. That's, that's, middle is ruined. I, I do have to accept that. I can't keep fighting. The middle is gone. It's gone. There's no, the middle, the damage to the middle is getting worse and worse. Just tonight, crime scene vehicles on the corner of Willis Avenue and Old Country Road. So somebody, something serious happened over there. I'm sure we won't hear about it on the news. All right. It's just around the corner from where I live. At the Jericho Terrace, somebody pulled a gun out. That didn't, that didn't make the news. There's a lot of crime going on. We're dealing with the brunt of it. The South Shore escapes most of it, all right? And we all know why that is. Bruce Blakeman is protecting the South Shore, too. Everybody is looking out for them, all right? That's what I'm talking about. They have it better than everybody else because of the color of their skin and their careers, all right? That's not fair. That's not something I'm going to accept, but that is something I can't change as well, all right? Uh, so I, I can't keep talking about trying to save the middle. The middle is gone. The middle is gone. I have to accept it and uh, fight like hell. Either get onto the South Shore where I'm not allowed or go live in New Jersey. Um, but uh, I am disgusted with what I'm seeing around Long Island. And then the intimidation uh, has reached a new level. Now being threatened with arrest for speaking out. Uh, that's scary. You know, in your life and your freedom, because I've gotten death threats from Andy Quinto. And now I'm getting th and, and, and threats of being arrested by Andy Quinto. And now... And now Ke Kevin Stone, just for speaking up, um, is it really worth it anymore to keep doing this? 
to keep speaking up about this discrimination. You know, I've been doing it, going it alone, all right? I appreciate some people have made videos occasionally, but I'm the only one that does this on a regular basis, talking about what's happening with these lily white areas on the South Shore, some of them in the middle, some of them on the North Shore, but it doesn't matter. If it's lily white and it's full finance professionals, it's going to be protected. But if you're anywhere else on Long Island, you're going to deal with the problems. You're going to deal with the neglect. You're going to deal with the crime. You're going to deal with businesses leaving. You're going to deal with your quality of life going down the toilet, all right? Because it's all designed to drive us out. It's all designed to drive us out. Drive out the middle class, drive out the seniors, drive out the disabled. People don't want to deal with this anymore. All right? And so I don't have anything to apologize for. I don't think I've done anything wrong. I'm not ungrateful. I'm not spoiled. Hello, my God, he thinks I'm spoiled. I don't know this guy's background. He, I, don't, I don't think he's in the military because if somebody is in the Air Force, and you make a video like that, that's going to go on your record. So I don't think he's on the Air Force at all. All right? And I don't think he's out of the country either. He could be right here on Long Island. And yes, I've seen him before. Not the guy, the tall guy with, this, with the bald head. No, this is a different guy I've ran into once, once in Hicksville where I was eating when I used to go to that Arby's. So that's how he knew all about it. He and the other guy are probably friends, all right? They just want me to stop talking about this. They want me to shut up. They want me not to talk about this discrimination anymore, not to talk about the, the path we're heading down in New York, that we are heading toward a path toward Elysium where only a certain demographic in the minority, because a certain demographic may make up 10 or 15% of all people in this state, or even on Long Island, I think maybe it's closer to 20% on Long Island, but they are the minority, all right? But they control everything. They're going to have a good life. The rest of us are going to deal with what you deal. Look at the movie Elysium, right? Because that's the direction we're heading in. We're heading in that direction. We're heading in direction where, uh, in New York especially, that the rest of us are going to deal with our towns becoming war zones, with crime, blight, stores closing, neglect, and only certain demographic in their own little world will be taken care of. Um, but you're not allowed to live there. It's only for them just like Elysium, all right? So, um, and fortunately, at least in this case, there are other places to live in this great country of ours, even in gr other great places in the Northeast to go live that aren't in the New York metropolitan area and Long Island. And if I can't find a good quality of life here, then I have to leave. That is, that. there's no saving the middle. I'm done trying to save the middle. I've made videos about it saying I'd give up and then I try fighting it. No, this time I'm done. It's not worth my freedom. It's not worth my life to try to save the middle, especially when everybody else in the middle of the island, nobody's really speaking up. Nobody else is doing anything. You know, you'll see with the breakdown tonight, nobody really cared. Nobody was angry. I mean, we're riding on a bus that smells like it's a, there's a fire on it and nobody says anything. I was told to shut up. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the way it is here. So, yeah, I'm done really putting myself on the line for the middle of the island. I'm done. I'm done. I have to focus on taking care of myself trying to get to a better living situation. And if I can't do that, I'm going to have to go live in New Jersey. And I'm going to have to start looking to going to live in New Jersey soon. All right? And it's going to suck. I'm going to leave Long Island. It's my only home, only place I've known my entire life. Um, I don't know how I'm going to survive the heat in New Jersey, but the crime and the quality of life and the corruption in this state is a danger to my well-being. And it's a danger to my health and it's a danger to my safety. Um, and I can't, I can't go it alone anymore. Um, I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, but so you'll see less talk. I'm not going to be talking much about crime anymore. You've seen me scale back the crime videos. I'm not going to be calling out Channel 12 anymore. All right. Uh, while I was speaking at MTA board meetings, I can't rule that out. I can't rule that out because that has to do with transportation. If it's transportation in the environment, that I'm still going to be involved in. I'm not going to stop about that. When it comes to all this other stuff, like, you know, the towns, you know, like businesses closing uh, in, in the middle and opening on the south. I'm not, I'm not talking about it anymore. You already know what's going on. Um, you already know it's part of the plan to drive us out. And the plan is succeeding. And really, it's only a matter, it's really the last thing that has to happen is Kathy Hochul getting reelected, which is probably going to happen. So it's really, it's really set in stone. The plan is set in stone. We are being driven out. There's not really much we can do about it, except enjoy our time left. Uh, on Long Island. So uh, I need to spend less time doing stuff like this, more time doing what I like in Long Island, because chances are 
by this time next year, I'm probably not going to be living here anymore. Um, if I if I can find a uh, housing in, in New Jersey where, I need, where I'd like to live, then that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm not staying here anymore. It's not worth it. Not worth my life. Not worth my safety. Not worth my health. Uh, unless, of course, I can live on the South Shore. And then I got to live with a bunch of people who really don't want me around. But it is, after all, Elysium. If I could get into Elysium, then I could stay. But that's the last lifeboat left on Long Island. The rest of the island is just turning to crap. Uh, and, uh, that's how we're driven out. That's how the plan works. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the support. Uh, but you have to understand emotionally, I can't keep doing this much longer. Um, I have to turn turn the volume down uh, and, uh, and just focus on uh, the, the core issues like the environment and transportation on Long Island. And that's just about it. So thank you for watching. Take care and be well.